Science. Hi, virtual learners. For science, today we are starting lesson two of unit 10, and it says, how can we change the way objects move? So we're talking about um, motion and energy in this unit. So it says, how is pushing a swing like pulling a wagon? Push and pull are both what? This is kind of a hard question. So I'll call on a few of you. Let's see. Caitlin? Forces. Yeah, good. Caitlin? They are both forces. When you push something, you're applying a force. And when you pull something, you're applying a force. So on the first line, you're going to write the word forces. And then the three, I'm sorry, three vocabulary terms that we're going to talk about in this lesson are push, pull, and force. Okay. Push, pull, and force. All right. On the next page, it says in full force. And it says, what makes the wagon move? The girl gives it a push. A push moves an object away from you. The boy gives the wagon a pull. A pull moves an object closer to you. Pushes and pulls are forces. A force makes an object move or stop moving. A force makes, I'm sorry, when the girl and boy push and pull the wagon, it starts to move. So if you push something, you are um, moving it. If you pull something, you are moving it too. Okay? At this box at the bottom, it says draw yourself pushing something. What could you draw yourself pushing? Alana? A wagon, like in the picture. What else? Logan? Okay, yeah, pushing a desk. Good. Caitlin? Okay, pushing a laundry basket. Miles, what else? Pushing your chair in. Good. Isabel? Pushing your bike. Okay, so any of those, you're going to draw a picture of yourself pushing something. All right, the next page, it says draw yourself pulling something. So what are some things you could pull? Miles? Pulling your bike. Kristen Kane? Okay, pulling somebody. Good. What else, Jordan? Pulling your desk. Good. What else, Amelia? Well, you're not pushing, you're pulling. So this is different. Okay, Adam? Okay, pulling a dog like on a leash. Logan? Pulling a rope. Yeah, good. What else, Isabel? Pulling a chair, like pulling your chair in behind you, like you're about to sit on it, you're pulling in it. Or think of like, if any of you in your basement have those lights downstairs with a long cord, you're pulling the light on. Or if you're pulling a book off of a shelf or pulling a cabinet open. Okay, so think of a, something that you can pull. I'm going to draw myself pulling one of those little lights. So just try your best. string on it. There's like a little cord at the end. So draw a picture of you pulling something. All right, so on the next page, it's talking about using force. So let's look at the pictures. How does a force move a ball? A force can change the way an object moves. It can change a ball's speed or direction. Changing speed. It says force can make, or some sorry, force can change an object's speed. It can make something start moving or stop moving. So like if you kick a ball to someone, you are applying force and you're making that ball move. And then if someone stops the ball with their foot, they're applying force because they're stopping it. So it can make something go faster or more slowly. So if you look at this picture, what is going to happen to this ball when this person kicks it? going to happen? Logan? It's going to go fast. Yeah, 
yeah, so it'll basically, it will just start moving, right? If she, if this person just kicks it very lightly, it might just roll a little bit. If they kick it really hard, it's going to go a lot further and faster. So we could just say that the ball will start moving. The ball will start moving. You can kick a ball to make it start moving or go fast. So let's look at the next page. Right next to it, it says you can catch a ball to stop it. And at the bottom, it says describe how the motion of the car changes. So in this picture, number one, we've got two little bunnies that are going to get pushed by their grown-up bunnies. Then we've got this one where they're in the cars. And then this one where they're back at the end. What can we write on the line for the first picture to describe how the motion of the car changes. Logan, what can we write? Well, we're just talking about the first picture. So what's going on in the first picture? Okay, so they're going to start. They're gonna, they will get pushed soon, or we could say um, they will start moving. Okay, what happens in picture number two? What's going on there? Once they've started moving, it looks like they're almost going down a hill. Amelia? They're going very fast, yes. Good. They are going very fast. And then what happens in the last picture? Adam? They're done. They stopped. They stopped moving. Good. So we'll say they are done moving. Good. Alright, so let me. Alright, on the next page it says, What is your position? It says, Look at the pictures. Things are moving up and down, they are moving in and out. Position words tell where something is. Kind of like, remember in reading how we would talk about prepositional phrases? They tell like where something is. It's kind of the same thing because it's talking about position. Because in some position words are in, out, up, down, left, and right. A force can move something to a new position. So, showing pictures of them dropping seashells in the bucket and scooping the seashells out of the bucket and putting sand down or lift, putting the shovel down in the bucket and then lifting the shovel and the sand up out of the bucket. Okay, let's look at the next page. A step in the right direction. Think about pushing a friend on a swing. Your friend moves away from you and then comes back. Forces can move things towards you and away from you. A force can change the direction of an object. So in this box, it says, tell how the direction of the swing changes. So how, like, when you're pushing a friend on a swing, how does the direction, how are they changing direction? What's happening? Clear? Well, yes, but I want you to say, like, what's happening when you push them on a swing. Mr. K? Right, so they get like away from you and then they come back, right? Because that's the direction of a swing. It's kind of like a back and forth direction. So you're going to say they, we have they again, move away and then come back. So they move away and then come back. So a swing moves away from you and then it comes back to you. Let me zoom in a little bit on that so you can see better. All right, on the next page, it's got a picture of some roller coasters. 
And it says, what makes that coaster move? It says, roller coasters are fun. They go up and down, fast and slow, round and round. People on the ride might yell as they change speed and direction. What makes the coaster move? So it shows here a motor is pulls a chain and the chain pulls the car up the first hill. Okay. Then if you look at the page next to it, gravity is the force that pulls the car down. Gravity pulls all things toward Earth. So, what pulls the car down the hill? We're going to write it on this line. What pulls the car down the hill? Carter? Gravity. You're going to write G-R-A-V-I-T-Y. Gravity. That's why, like, if you go out into outer space, you aren't, you don't stay, like, on the ground or in the like if you go on the moon, you don't stay down on the moon because there's no gravity. All right, next we have our Sum It Up page. All right, number one says solve it. It says write the word that solves the riddle. It says I move a box when it is full. I can be a push or a pull. What am I? So it's, you're not going to answer if it's a push or a pull. So what are pushes and pulls? One of our words that we answered in the very front, one of those vocabulary terms. No, gravity is a type of this. Mason? Force, yes. Push and a pull are a type of force. And gravity is a force because it's a push. It's pushing us down. Then it says, forces can change objects. Circle the words that tell the kinds of changes. So which of these things? We have speed, size, shape, color, and direction. Which of these can force a force change? Parker, which one? Direction. Yep, force can change the direction that something moves. Good. What's another one? Caitlin? Speed. Force cannot change the color of something, the size, or the shape. Forces like pushes and pulls only change the speed, like how fast something goes, or the direction it goes in. Okay? And the last little picture, it shows a little mouse, and you have to write if it's a push or a pull. So in this picture, are we going to write that's a push or a pull? Logan? Yeah. What is it? A push or a pull? Pull. He's pulling the rope. Pull. So this one would have to be what? Push. He's pushing that like, cabinet or that box. Pull and push. But the last part of the brain check is, first side says to complete the letter by using these words. We have speed, push, force, and pull. It says, Dear Jen, we moved into our new house. My dad drove the moving truck. He made sure the blank of the truck was not too fast. Question K. Speed. Talks about fast or slow something is. Moving is hard. I had to blank boxes all day. Push, force, or pull. John. Push. Push boxes all day. It took a huge blank to move my box of toys. Mason? Force. Good. So the last one would be my dad had to pull it while my brother pushed. Good. All right. So we'll get those. All right. On the last page. It says complete the chart and write a word on each blank line. So all we are doing is just kind of writing something. For example, a force could move a wagon. So you could say that. The cause is if you force something, you could move a wagon. Force makes a wagon go. You could say fast or slow. 